Senna and Titus just hanging out at Rescue House One. It's Titus laying on his side, getting belly rubs with Carol and Tammy. And then Tiffany has Senna. We have Senna and Titus outside. There. She did a little growl, but you know he respected it and kind of. Can you see? Yeah. It's just good for her to be around other dogs. <clears throat> Hello everybody, this is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. And Titus is here today at house one. So Carol and Tammy, Tiffany, um, and then there's Senna. I wanted to see how Senna would react around another dog. I know Titus is super, super, super dog friendly. I want to see what she does <clears throat> as he gets closer. <laughs> She's like, I'm leaving. <laughs> He's like, I want to get closer to her. She was, she was outside with Bravo. Yeah, I know. Maybe she likes smaller dogs. He's not really, very little weight on the left leg. Very little, the surgery. So much therapy. So we have another week and then we're gonna make a decision after the surgery we just did with the implant and the FHO. Um, to see if he can ever regain use of that leg or if it's causing him more trouble than anything and then we would have to make the decision to amputate his back left leg because he is on a lot of pain medication but we're doing everything in our power in the direction and under direction of the surgeon Senna, where are you? I don't see you. She's around the corner. <laughs> He's so good. He's amazing. He's like a therapy dog, honestly. He's amazing, huh, Kat? I know. No. If amputating is what he needs, that's what he will receive and he can live a full life. Full life. We're not gonna let him suffer. Titus and Senna. Hi, handsome boy. Hi, TT Titus. Hi, gorgeous. Did you meet him yet? Yeah. Who's the best boy? Very little, but a little bit. Still, see how he's toe touching? It looks like the leg is just like heavy weight, you know? See how he drags it and dangles it? They wanted him to be, yeah, it doesn't look good to me, but. What? Oh. 
Well, the last I heard was a little growl, so then you... Babe, it's been like seven weeks. You see, it doesn't look good. Even the doctor said it doesn't look great. Should be doing a, of course, yeah. I know, whoever gets him is going to be tripod or not. If we have to go to that, if we have to resort to that. And he's dog and cat friendly. <laughs> All right, guys, that's that. And what, Lala? You happy? Lala, you happy? Auntie Shelly's back to see you. And give and give you belly rubs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about having a wife with pinkish hair? It's like raspberry. Isn't it pretty? Somebody new for him. Like, ooh, a new wife. Ooh. Does it wash out? It will. Yeah. It's really pretty. Absolutely. All right, guys, signing off. It's been a long day. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Just wanted to bring you along with, there's Lala. Yes, there's little Lala here. Lala, Lala, la. Lala. Everybody's asking for you, Lala. What do you, what's on your face, silly girl? You got hay on your face, silly girls. Lella is our senior we rescued from the Miami-Dade Kill Shelter. She would have been dead a long time ago. She was on the euthanasia list. She would have ended up in a body bag in a landfill. I say that because that's the reality of what happens to those beautiful dogs and cats that don't make it out. So she has Cushing's and she is just fine. She's our princess. She's our second princess in the house. She's just loving life. She loves her beds. She loves her blankies. She loves her food. She loves her belly rubs. And she loves her meatballs. Do you love your meatballs? I need to do. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.